All right, it's been a couple of days since I've played it. Um, in my time, I'm sure you, you guys have been seeing regular updates. But we're finally here. We're at the last episode of Life is Strange. And let me tell you, this has been a crazy journey <laughs> as playing Life is Strange usually is. Um, I played it a few years ago, of course, when it first came out. Hadn't touched it since, and coming back, I made different decisions. But of course, I, I had the advantage of hindsight, of, of foresight, really, knowing where the game is leading to. Um, but even even with kind of being familiar with the game, I've I've still had that like experience of. Just being taken aback by all the twists and turns in the in the story, and it it still holds a lot of emotional value and like replayability, even though it is a very linear type of game. Now I know we have some tough choices ahead of us in uh, this last part of the game. It's probably definitely gonna throw me for a loop when we get we do get to those choices, because I still don't know what I'll choose. So I guess we shouldn't delay this any further. Let's uh, play the end of the world. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody, except each other. You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Oh, look, the Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look out! What the fuck? And there we are. We're caught up. Oh, Mr. Jefferson. Oh. Such a bad, bad man. But we'll take care of him. Don't you worry. light. That's an expensive light. Damn, Mr. Jefferson, where are you getting this cash? All right, Nathan. <laughs>
episode 5, Polarized. The last episode of the game. We're in the dark room. <sighs> Back in this creepy ass place. Homie? What? Victoria. Where? Is with us. It's a dark room. Victoria! Is anybody out there? Please help! That's not a good idea. This is a bunker, Max. No one can hear us. <laughs> help! Somebody help me! Oh, I got a foot detached. Finally, I'm free. Almost. Looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Disgusting. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Oh, I gotta focus on the photo. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Oh, I don't know if we want to go back to this moment, Max. It seems like a very bad moment to go back to. The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Ugh, what a creep. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Shot. <laughs> but Good. please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Mm, don't like him standing over me like that. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh. God. He's gonna blame oh, Nathan for eyes. everything that he's done. I mean, he's a good scapegoat. It's not a bad plan. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. 
Nobody will be surprised or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now don't move, or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. Well, that didn't help us much now, did it, Max? Victoria. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Just need to find a way to take them, really. Oh. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Good for you. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. As simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes oh i feel so you're a lucky. psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure... Sweet, Kate. Kate?
Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. Mm, you will bastard. not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Ugh. This dude. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. No. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway. A sick man. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. <sighs> After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. He killed Nathan? Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Mm. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart. Oh, come on. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh, now this one. This. Is purity personified? How do I find my diary? Oh, I think it wants us to rewind. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Oh, good for you. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh. 
Look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Oh, is that the selfie on her the first day of class? Yes, it is. Alright, gotta go back to the beginning. Bring it full circle. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Hmm. Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that and let you try to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well, thanks for the warning, Max. <laughs> so, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite that popular. Felt good. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. <laughs> Clearly, Max doesn't have the uh, time. Hmm. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. To change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the first. Artist. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Okay. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Don't confuse the art with the artist. Bastard. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? This diary literally saved my life. Do we have David I should be anymore? able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Ugh. After blazing a trail in the world of 90s style and fashion photography, Mark Jefferson always knew he wanted to share his vision and inspire others. In the late 2000s, he took a well-publicized detour into teaching around the country, inevitably ending up in a permanent position at Blackwell Academy. Mr. Jefferson's glasses on art and photography are some of the most popular in the school's rich history, and his students will certainly go on to inspire others in their own vision. Bastard. Found you. Um. Ah. 555-630-8243. Warn David. For once, David. I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? 
It doesn't matter what happens to me. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Aww. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Alright, let's take this man down. Gillette Amber. I don't particularly want to look through Victoria's things right now. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. Hmm. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy Which you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. Oh. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Not maybe likely. only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Chloe still lives in that in that past. We didn't save her though. That's the thing. Maybe it's just assumed that we say that Max went on to save her. Is that Kate or Rachel Amber? Yay, Chloe's alive again. Mission accomplished.